see first of all somebody want to get married to you Aquarius <laughs> no it's a no let me talk about it let's talk about it. let's talk about why it's a no Aquarius all right let's get into it thank you guys for blessing the Aquarius with a clear concise message from you I know y'all like my uh jagged edges that was the remix um yeah I was on the remix uh anyhow um all right, Aquarius. So when I was shuffling off camera, I said, give me three cards for Aquarius. Spirit said, I'll give you four. Um, we've got unexpected income. All right. We've got, and then this card flipped out onto the floor and it turned in reverse. Mature male in reverse. Okay. We've got despair. And then we have child, Lord. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have thief. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so um, somebody's somebody's deceptive, and it could have something to do with a child. You know, somebody just devised some scheme, plan to take money, to get money. I don't know. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Then there's also somebody coming back to you, Aquarius, because sometimes this card can talk about an unexpected message, right? Out of the blue. But look how they're coming back to you in the mature man reverse so we know anything so reverse of mature is immature right so they're coming back still immature or this is premature it's immature like somebody hasn't gotten to that place this could even be indicative of maybe this is your person but they need to grow and they need to grow without you they can't grow with you in their life aquarius so that's why it's a no you know this person could want to declare their feelings have another start with you but with this child card i feel like it, it talks about timing. It's still a baby or someone's still in the baby phase of awakening to themselves and spiritual healing and growth and coming out of negativity and toxicity. If you do this now, it will be before time and you'll get another failure. So no, you know, yeah, they, they're saying let's get married, but no, or let's stay together or whatever. They're in a place of despair. Maybe you are too. Maybe you want to go back to this person so bad but the cards are saying, nope, poor timing. You know, just poor timing. Because something hasn't matured. They haven't really gotten the lesson. They aren't listening to the higher fence, spirit. They aren't learning, you know, or they're still in the beginning stages of. Whoever this is, they definitely going through it. You know, they can feel the, the loss, the absence. You know, there's a void there. All right, let's see. Well, we have full Aquarius. Um, or this is you, Aquarius. I don't know. Yeah, so Eight of Wands. Spirit is saying, no, it's, it's not time. Uh, because upright, it would say obstacles being removed. You know, um, manifestation is imminent. Something ain't even landing. Like, there's no even, there's no communication. Um, somebody's not at a place where they want to participate in vulnerability. Vulnerability begets compassion, you know, and this person is just not in that place. They may still be an ego. Justice in reverse, yeah, it is something that's still not right. Um, they're not ready to do the right thing. Maybe the, the, the sentiment, the intentions are there, but they're not ready to perform. The justice in reverse. Yeah, they could have treated you unfair. There was unfairness and all that stuff, but... Something that it's, it's just always oh, out of balance because upright it would be balance, right? It's out of some size out of balance or out of bounds. Oh, you guys are not equally yoked right now, you're not even on the same wavelength. Out of bounds, so that means you're over there and they're over here. Oh, it even talks about separation. Because for something to be out of bounds, there was like a line drawn, right? So your person needs to be over here. You need to be over there. Them coming back to you right now or you going back to them or whatever. It's out of bounds. It's not time. What else we got? Yeah, somebody needs to come into a higher level of themselves. Temperance card. They need to mitigate something too. They need to go take the middle ground. They need to stop something. They need to temper it. They need to do less of it. Drinking, drugging, whatever is not good for them, right? It could be you, it could be them. Somebody needs to get in better health. This is poor health, okay? Physical, mental, 
emotional. It also talks about compromise, negotiation, and timing. Again, the timing is all. Be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with this person. Temperance card is Sagittarius. Maybe Sagittarius season. They'll try to hit you up. That's kind of like uh, Christmas, around Christmas or whatever. If you celebrate. Um, and then also this is directly related to the King of Cups. So we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Three of Wands. Something's just not landing. Somebody wants to come back fast. But I don't know. Spirit might put, have put some bounds. Out of bounds. You out of bounds, boy. You out of bounds, girl. Trying to come back over here. Uh -uh. Stay where you at. Yeah, I can't make it up. The Knight of Wands showing up upright. Um, oh, sorry. The Nine of Wands. So this is definitely bounds. Boundaries. You know, um, the wounded warrior taking a step back, looking at seeing seeing if you should recover. Somebody's like wondering, should I go recover that old turbulent, crazy, traumatic, toxic relationship, or should I just keep going? Keep going. Um, the nine of wands says that there has been breakdown before they can be breakthrough. So something has broken down. Maybe it's the both of you. Like both of you need to go fix yourselves separately, right? And then maybe you can come back together. Both be toxic. You don't. It, it's not just one. It's two. I know you're not the one. Yep. So you the two. Um. So uh. Yeah. Yeah. Not Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Something with the Three of Pentacles. No lasting power. No staying power. Devotion doesn't exist here. Um. Dedication. Somebody not listening to. Your spiritual team or guardian angel. Um, somebody can even be trying to come back to you while you're vulnerable. And that could be maybe at a time of the holiday season. Or somebody who's trying to kick you while you're down. With the three of pentacles. Something to do with real estate, home, working together. Um... Some of you need to be more, put more focus energy onto your work. Some of you are going to stop traveling as much for work. You're going to focus on three of pentacles, maybe establishing something for yourself. Doing something that, you know, you're, it's your God-given talent. It's what you should be doing. Life is about to come into some self-sustaining rhythm for you. So that's really good. Like, you know. This could have been a false twin or a false so or karmic soulmate. Or somebody just didn't choose the soulmate connection. One card of advice for Aquarius. Somebody definitely wants to marry you though. They see you as the one. But they're not ready. But they're afraid. So th when people move out of fear, it's definitely the wrong situation. Fear that you'll find somebody else. Fear that the other person will find somebody else. So then I, I'll go back to you prematurely. When I know there's no, been no change that has happened. So anyway. The moon card. Yeah, let something going on behind the scenes. There's deep emotions, deep feelings for you. Someone's lying to themselves, lying to other people. Hidden, you know, enemy. Vivid dreams. This could be feminine energy. Somebody could be in a low vibrational feminine energy. Somebody is also, they have like vices and things that you don't know that they do engage in that are not good for health with the temperance card. Um, this is what this person does to mitigate all these bad uh, situations, circumstances going on in their life. They drink too much. They eat too much. They overindulge. Something about Somebody needs to get their life in order before they can come back to you. And same as you, Aquarius. That's what I got for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. You know, um, who wants to marry you? Or who do you want to marry? Write their first name down in the comment section. I mean, it's a way of manifesting, right? Um, if not, marry them tomorrow. Maybe you'll marry them in a year, two, three. I don't know. When they get their shit together and when you get yours together, all right? If you want to get your own personal reading, go ahead and go over to the website. Uh, book your reading there. Readings are always 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. I'm having my first ever uh, meet and greet here in the metro Atlanta area. So if you're in the state of Georgia, um, what you want to do to get the details for that is to head on over to my website and subscribe to my website, tarotofl.com, and you'll get the details for that. So um, you can come out, shake hands with me, fellowship. Uh, I might even do some mini readings. It's all free, 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 free. Okay? 
uh, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing a collective reading. And then on Thursdays, I answer questions for free. So come on, come on down. Uh, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we'll be having our Halloween party. I will come dressed in my Halloween costume. You should come in yours too. All right, hit that Zoom link. I'll be able to see you. You'll be able to see me. All right. Um, I hope that you took something from the reading. And if you did, you could give back. You could buy me a coffee. But if you don't want to do that, you can just give to our annual uh, Less Fortunate Drive, okay? Where we buy toiletries for those who need. Um, so uh, you can contribute via the Amazon wish list or you can make a contribution via GoFundMe. The links are there. If you've never given anything to the channel, give this. This is the day. This is the day, okay? Give to the less fortunate. Let that energy exchange happen, all right? Because it won't be just me giving. It will be us giving, all right? So thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.